Welcome to a new video on Byte Geek, guys. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be looking at five USB drives and putting them through some performance testing to see whether they live up to their claim speed. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I've bought uh, five USB pen drives, all for under £10 uh, from Amazon UK. I'll put the links in the description if you're interested, but I'll be testing the read and write speed using three different applications. So I'll be using uh, USB D, D view, uh, speed out and crystal disk info. Some of these pen drives are USB 3.1 compatible. Uh, however, I'll, the tests I'll be doing, they'll all be done on a USB 3.0 port just to make it fair across the drives. So first off, we have the uh, PNY, uh, and that's the uh, Attaché 4, which is a 3.1 USB drive. It's 32 gigabytes. All of these drives are 32 gig. And uh, this is backwards compatible with uh, USB 3.0 and 2.0. With this, I paid £5.24. So just over 50% of the, the budget price that uh, that had set and the manufacturer's claims PMY's uh, claims are uh, 20 megabits per second uh, write on a 3.1 USB port and 80 megabits per second read on a 3.1 port so obviously I, I couldn't find any, any information with regards to 3.0 so it'd be interesting to see how close they actually come to that on uh, on, on a 3.0 port Okay, so second, we have the uh, Patriot Supersonic Rage, uh, which is another USB 3.1 compatible drive. And this one was right at the top of the budget, so this one was £9.99. This one is, the claims for the manufacturer is 180 megabits per second read and 50 megabits per second write quite a difference from the PNY drive again it would be interesting to see what uh, what that ends up performing like in the tests I notice there it's extreme performance plus 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 <laughs> next on the list is uh, integral uh, courier this is a USB 3.0 drive again another 32 gig drive and I paid £8.49 for this. So the manufacturer's claims on this are up to 30 megabits per second write and up to 140 megabits per second read. This is actually claiming to be quite a bit quicker than the PNY 3.1 drive. It would be interesting to see what whether that actually meets those claims. So just notice that on the front, on the little sticker on the front, it's got a little asterisk against those read and write uh, figures. So um, no doubt there's a uh, some kind of caveat somewhere on the back of the packaging. So fourth in the list is a Kingston Data Traveller 100 uh, G3. Again, like all the others, this is 32 gig drive. And I paid £3.99. So this is actually the cheapest drive out of the five that I'm looking at in this video. Uh, quite a difference between this and some of the other ones. And this is a 3.1 and a 3.0 compatible drive and, and 2.0 as well. The claims are that it's a 100 megabits per second read. Bizarrely, I couldn't find anything on the manufacturer's website that had uh, details with regards to its write speed. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, but we'll see. We'll see what it does in the, in the testing. Kind of like middle ground there with its, uh, its read speed. Who knows, it, it, might, it might be not too bad on the right speed. And finally, we have the SanDisk Ultra, which is a 3.0 flash drive. And I paid £6.44 for this. And the manufacturer's claims on this are 130 megabits per second read speed, 40 megabits per second write. Like the Kingston, it would be interesting to see what this, this does. That's it, that, those are the five drives. So I'm gonna open those up, get the software going, and then we'll, uh, we'll see, see what the figures come out in the, uh, in the benchmarks.
A few moments later. Okay guys, so there we have the five USB drives. So just a quick look at them just before I get to actually performance testing them. So the Kingston Data Traveler, that is a capless USB drive. So it's it's basically you just slide the, the casing backwards and forwards there. Uh, fairly, fairly basic and it's got a loops there for uh, your lanyard to go in. The Integral, and that is uh, got a cap on it so uh, which can click on the end it's kind of uh, all together so just like a standard USB thumb drive the Patriot Rage a little bit like the uh, Kingston uh, Data Traveler that is another slide one there it's actually uh, quite a nice uh, unit that so loop there for your, your uh, lanyard on it and then the PNY that again is a is a push one so capless and finally the SanDisk uh, which is another push slide there so with a little loop on the end for your uh, your lanyard so there you go just a quick overview of those uh, drives there what I'm going to do now I'm going to format these and uh, just standard Windows format default properties and I'll put slides up showing the results of the performance testing. Okay guys, so there's the slides. Uh, one thing to note, I did actually end up putting in some uh, Windows file copy and that's on uh, Windows 10. And that was with a, a, just over a 12 gigabyte file uh, being written and read from the drive. So they've been averaged into the performance figures as well. So just to touch on a few of those slides, really some of the points from those, obviously in terms of capacity, the Integral Courier came out significantly ahead of all the other drives um, there's, there's at least half a gigabyte of extra capacity on that drive compared to everything else in terms of overall read performance the Patriot Rage drive on paper that was by far the, the fastest drive for read performance and in the test that came out way ahead of everything else so I think if you're looking purely for a drive for, for read capability that that is probably the one to go for so the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed the poor performance of the SanDisk Ultra drive. The issue here is that after the first run of the Crystal Disk Mark uh, performance test on that drive, the drive actually failed completely. It went into write protected mode and I was not able, despite all best efforts, to be able to recover the drive. I did actually get a replacement for it, but I think that's it's unfair to include that then again in the performance. None of the other drives uh, had any issues. They went through all the different series of tests uh, without complaining at all. 
uh, whereas the SanDisk one failed. And looking at the ride performance of the drives, the Integral drive is, is by far the fastest drive there. And you know, it's equivalent to the Patriot drive in, in terms of you know the night and day that it was with it with its uh, read speeds. I think the other thing to note is the Integral has got a fairly decent read speed as well. Overall, I'd probably say that you know if you were looking for that good balance between read and write uh, performance on the drive, then the Integral drive is, is probably the better one to go for. And in terms of claimed speeds versus achieved speeds, I think it's fair to say that most of the drives either just overachieved their speeds or just underachieved their speeds. Out of the whole group, obviously, the SanDisk Ultra had the failure. Uh, and the, the other exception really is the Kingston uh, Data Traveller now that seemed to be significantly poorer speeds compared to the uh, the other drives within the group. So that's probably one that I'd probably uh, avoid. But certainly the, the pick out of these five, I would go with either the Integral or the uh, Rage, Patriot Rage. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description for these drives guys. As I say, they, they are all under £10, so quite a bargain if you're looking for something that size. Thanks for watching the video guys, hope you found it interesting and informative. If you did, you know, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and uh, any questions, you know, put them in the comments below and I will try and get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.